for these colonial um, supremacists that never cease to exist, the idea of colonialism is now clearly never ceased to exist. And how can they keep colonialism alive with a facade of modern day living? By making us slaves to them indirectly, by making us slaves to consumerism. They made us so reliant on things we don't need, always trying to update the newest phone, always trying to get the newest fit, all these trends that we're trying to follow, all these new restaurants, new everything new, everything modern, every little few days and months something, an update comes around that we all flock to go and try to obtain. They ingrained this idea of slavery in us in just a different form. And how can they ensure that, you know, there's always these new upgraded things, always these new releases? How can they ensure that? By invading, colonizing, and weakening countries that have the natural resources and materials and minerals to be able to provide these things. And when they colonize these countries or they invade them or they flare war in them and then the people become, the civilians become so affected that they become so desperate for anything, here, cheap labor. This is how they work. And what about us, those that aren't being used for cheap labor? How are we being used? We're being used by, first they brainwash us into making us think that if I don't have the most recent iPhone, I'm less than. If my outfit's not a brand, ugh, I'm less than. If I go somewhere prestigious, I have to look a certain way and have to wear certain clothes and have to act a certain way and obtain certain things, artificial things, and it's, it's fucking bullshit. They brainwashed us so extremely that we truly feel it. If you go out into some event that you know is going to have prestigious people and you wear a normal thrift stored outfit, even if you pull up a confident facade inside of you because of how deep the brainwashing is, you're gonna feel I'm looking less than. When it's all here, this is what makes you more than or less than, not this. So they put us in a cycle where they give us the little bit of money that they give us through work, which we all know we're not getting paid fairly. And when we question that, we get told it's the economy, though. But then there are billions being spent to murder people in Congo, Palestine, in Yemen as well, in Libya, in Syria. So where are the billions coming from? They're coming from us. They're coming from the taxes that they take from us. So there is money, you're just not spending it on us, you're spending it to kill us. So we give you the money to kill us. This is the equation that we're living in right now. You're either being enslaved because your country's been destroyed, because your country's actually very rich in minerals and they don't want the people to wake up and realize that, or you're given like this idea that, oh no, you're civilized, but in reality, you're just paying them so that they can kill you at some point in time.